Good morning, y'all. I think it's Friday, about 10.30. Hazel and I just finished our breakfast. I have I always get a sausage McGriddle, 99% of the time. Now that's just this little, two little pieces of sweet pancake with a piece of sausage between it. Well, I've decided that sometimes maybe I should add an egg to that so I'm getting more protein. Well, this morning I went through the drive through Well, first of all, yesterday I went through the drive through And when I parked to eat my sandwich, it was a sausage McMuffin. And it had cheese on it. We well, all, I thought about it, and I realized it was not their fault. I had said a sausage McMuffin. So, I got what I deserved. But this morning, I went through the drive through I remembered to order a McGriddle, and, um, yeah. I got a medium Coke. So we pulled over here and parked. I unwrapped my straw, put it in my Coke, and I took a long drink. Oh my word, y'all. It was sweet tea. Yuck. So, started the van. I went right back through the drive-thru. And this young man, um, that I had never seen before was at the window and I handed it to him now I'm not saying I know all the employees y'all <laughs> just most of them so I handed him the um, cup of sweet tea and I said sweetie you gave me sweet tea I ordered a medium coke so he took the lid off of it and looked at it and he must have had a medium Coke ready already. So he picked it up and he handed it to me. And I turned back to him and I said, Sweetie, could I have a straw, please? So he pulled my straw out of the lid of the sweet tea and handed it to me. And I looked at him and I said, Really? But I took it anyway, and I about that time I stuck it back in my Coke, and I heard somebody back there say, What are you doing? And I just drove off. I'm sure he got into a bit of trouble. But I just thought I'd tell y'all that, because I thought it was funny. You could tell by the look on his face that he knew he had screwed up. It's one of those things like when you do something, like when you lock your keys in your car, the second the door closes, you realize you screwed up. <laughs> or you said something maybe in a more hateful way than you should have and you realized it immediately as soon as the words left your mouth. So, I'm sure he won't be doing that again, but it really was funny, y'all. I, <laughs> I guess you had to be there to see him pulling that straw out of the lid and handing it to me. But I wasn't mad. I just really was um, incredulous. I mean, come on. They'll have to add that to their list of things that they talk about when they're training people. Anyway, y'all, I am going to go over to Terry's, take a good shower, scrub the hair, and then I'm going to take him grocery shopping. His battery has gone out on his car. So, um, I'm not sure whether he intends to put a new one in. I'm sure he does. He just doesn't drive his car very much, you guys. 
pretty much basically to go to the grocery store. So that's my plan for pretty much the rest of the day. So I'll talk to y'all later. Don't forget to do something fun. And um, that's it for this one, y'all. Bye now.